Thank you very much, Jack. Howard has already given you an excellent introduction to what EGM does. So I'll just say what we've done uh, from the last six months. Uh, the effort is headquartered in Delhi, but all council members are involved in approving what we do. And four of us from the council are involved in day-to-day -day activities. And we have we had about three full-time research assistants employed for this project, and everyone else is giving their time free. The space is free, and so on. So I think if you have to do it here, it'll cost you 20 times more. Uh, so we are very lucky that we can do things without being paid. Um, <laughs> the evidence gap map, which uh, we are doing, is on road safety. And, I, uh, well, I won't step into the time of what they are, because we've already done it. Only thing I have to remember is that at this time, we are not telling you what works. We are telling you how many publications exist which are of quality which you can use in each topic and subtopic and where they come from, etc. Which I'll show you later. Uh, the, we have included all studies on road safety which are available. Oh, well, I should qualify that. What we are presenting are interim results. That's why you won't get a copy. Uh, we still have to clean it up. And we're also going to spend time when we go back on grey literature. At present, what we've got is what's published in journals, largely in conferences. But we are going to search the internet for grey literature also when we go back. And we're going to clean it up. And as I said, we are also going to have discussions on certain inclusion criteria and exclusion criteria after having had this experience. Uh, we've been very strict that we included all studies except car technology which saves up car occupants. But we have included studies say on seatbelt laws and their effectiveness, but not technologies in the car itself. And the reason we've done that is because there's much more agreement on which te technologies work or don't work in car technology. Secondly, they're changing fast. And thirdly, because I, I think at least the car, what car, how cars are being made is being decided largely by the market, the free market, and not so much by professors and, and, and research. Secondly, because of our inclusion, we, we, uh, we are only looking at, we only include studies in which report changes in injuries and deaths. We do not include any lab studies. We do not include any uh, modeling studies. We do not include any simulation studies. We have to know that something has changed on the ground. If you cannot show that something has changed on the ground, we don't include it. We agreed eventually after discussion to include three, four risk factors. Um, sorry. That is, since there seems to be a consensus in the discipline that change in views of seat press affects the deaths and injuries. No one I know says that using a seat belt or not using a seat belt doesn't affect change in injuries and deaths. Similarly for helmets and changes in speed and changes in alcohol use. So we have included studies which report these four changes, but nothing else. You have to show that death or injuries change otherwise. Uh, so, so this puts a strict condition on outcome. Uh, we've used large studies which are published, which, are, which include 300 scholarly journals from PubMed. It's a, you've got all the figures there. And next stage is great, great literature and other sources. And we'll also do a back search that is going back to systematic reviews and looking at the studies included in systematic reviews to see if we have missed any out. So that's the next two months. Uh, 
for example, and, and so that's going to take some time. Though by the going through this process, I must say I've learned that Lunel sitting here is a champion. I don't know how he's done it with his colleagues, but uh, no one else in the world has done what he's doing. And so we, every time you look at something, I have to say, let's see if Rune has done it. Uh, going, going through all our literature. <laughs> uh, Ray, I'm serious. There's no one else. Though maybe he's not an earthling. So. <laughs> What we've done in the last six months, we've gone, we identified 73,771 publications, of which, after we removed the duplicate, and that's because of the software we have from Campbell. You cannot do this work without that software. It's, it's almost impossible. Uh, there were, after removing duplicates, we had 44,365, then we screened. 444,365 papers on abstract and titles, and we excluded 41,000 based on that because they didn't fit our criteria. So we were left with 2,662. So we went through full length papers of 2,262 uh, papers, and Gita was sitting here, Kavi is sitting here, Matthew is sitting here, four of us gave our time, I think, for now. Uh, but we also have three research assistants uh, who helped us a lot because when two, each paper is seen by two people and if their views in coding differ, then one of us had to come in, which is Kavi, me, Nitham, uh, or Matthew, and decide who's right. And after, and of course, Howard was our guru, uh, telling us when we went wrong because all this stuff is new for us. Uh, no one teaches you in university uh, how important these things are, in a sense, except maybe currently. But it's certainly not, not in my university. Uh, and then finally, we have selected 935 studies which fit our criteria for inclusion out of 44,000. So now what I'll show is what we've got. Um, just give you a feel of the map. This is what the map looks like. <laughs> and power has only shown you this. I insert the bubbles, I prefer, prefer the mosaic. What you showed you the size of the bubble showed you how many studies there are. In the mosaic, you can see that each square represents a study. And the greens are systematic reviews. And one, one thing which has bothered me, and I'm sure bothered half and everyone else, that some of the systematic reviews are certainly not very systematic. And they don't really tell you what, they're very generous. And they say, ah, everything works. But so we have, we have to go back and look at them. And uh, so when you see, that, what's, very, what's fascinating in this is, and that if, and this is the whole map, that you look at the number of studies, you see a lot in enforcement and a lot in alcohol. But then if you look at the, the then you have <laughs> driver training, there's some. But think of it, in 50 years, that the studies on driver tra training, which is being included, are only 60 odd in 60 years which shows how little good work there is worldwide in the, in the subject. Uh, then if you start going down, there are no studies. For example, this is vehicle factors not including cars, which shows how few studies there are on buses and trucks in the field, not crash testing and their effectiveness. There are no studies or oh, very few studies on motorcycles, not cricket helmets. There are no studies on rickshaws, tuk-tuks, small buses in the world. When majority of the people in the world use those vehicles. And we have spent about $600 million in the last 10 years by various agencies to improve road safety in the world. When you don't know what works and what doesn't work. 
and, this old, and they, are, they have not funded a single big research study out of the $600 million. And I think this is what we're finding out from, from, from what we've done. If you go down, then you start seeing that there are more studies on road design, but even in road design, you see that you can point at anything, it tells you. And if you click, it shows you the studies. Secondly, I can, and if I, let me go back. Sign guys. Yeah. I'll just show you there's a filter, and I can filter for, say, South Asia. <coughs> One study. <laughs> Two studies. Zero. One year. I can filter for <coughs> pedestrians, for example. Uh, finish with this. Very few studies around the world. So this tool, you can filter for everything we've coded by age, place in the world, rich city, rich countries, poor countries, America, North America, South Africa. So from this map, in, on any topic, I can filter on a large number of things and I can find out how many studies exist and I can go back and see which do I can click here and I know what the study is. I can go to the study. I'm not connected to the internet so I can't go to it. So thanks very much.